Hey everybody, welcome out to another episode of Bald Up Genetics. My name is Lloyd, and if you like reptiles, then this channel's for you. And this is part two of the pond build. Today's episode is going to be part two of Merlin's Pond Build. So let's get into that, show you what progress has been made, and then I will look at some snakes afterwards. So let's get started. Okay, so our liner and, and uh, filtration has finally shown up. Uh, this first box is our big uh, rubber liner. Um, the next one is a few of our underwater lights that we've come in so far. Then, of course, we have our felt underlayment that has come in. Um, and then we have our, our filter, uh, we have our waterfall and then we have our skimmer box, uh, that's underneath it right here. So we'll get all this out, we'll get it set up and we'll get going. So let's get started. <music> As you can see, we have the skimmer is in, roughed in, the pond liner, and we have some slate. So it's just uh, rock time now. It's getting all the slate and all the rock work in. That's what we're going to be doing next. So we'll probably time lapse a lot of it, um, but it's getting there. Okay, so as you can see, we've got most of the slate down uh, along the floor. We've got rocks going up the sides of the first wall, uh, some more slate that's down. We just had a little bit of the edge rock work to do. And then we'll throw in some uh, smaller stones and some pebble rock uh, in between the cracks to fill it all in. But it's slowly getting there. It's starting to shape into something. Okay, everybody, day two of rocks. Let's get started. Just a little bit of rocks. Okay, so here we're trying to get that big piece of red uh, Colorado stone up. Uh, it's gonna be the area where we can stand and feed the fish and also feed Merlin, the uh, Fly River turtle. Uh, it's pretty heavy. Um, so it took us a little bit to get it over here and then also to, to get it down onto the floor and get it in place uh, we have to make sure you know we're not gonna scratch up the liner or puncture the liner as we do this so we would just slowly start picking it up and, and putting it into place once it was in place though as you'll see next it's a pretty nice looking stone just adding a few more rocks it's all starting to come together okay so there's the uh, Colorado stone as you can see, we've gotten a lot of the uh, smaller rock work and pebble in along the floor and the first shelf to fill in the cracks. Uh, we just got a little bit more left on this uh, lower part of the shelf. Um, and then we just have to put the capstones around the uh, top of the pond. Um, we still have to work on the waterfall a little bit, get it into shape and ready to go. And then also I have to uh, attach the liner to the skimmer. But, uh, yeah, it's looking good so far. Okay, so this is attaching the pond liner to the skimmer box. So you just got to cut open uh, on the liner for the opening of the box. And then you're going to uh, silicone the liner onto the skimmer box. There's the door attachment, so it will sandwich the liner in between and give it a watertight seal. One eternity later. Come on already! I want to see some snakes! 
Okay, so this last part, I'm just, uh, I've put the frame on, I've put the bolts through, I'm tightening up the bolts to squeeze all that silicone together to make that watertight seal around the door opening. And there you have it, the finished product. The door is in, it's siliconed, uh, and now we're ready to go on to the next step. Okay, and right now we're trying to figure out uh, how exactly we want to do this um, waterfall in a small stream. So we're just roughing it in right now and seeing what we need to do. All right, so we're making some progress on the waterfall, as you can see. Uh, next time you see it, it will be complete and water will be running out of it. But it's a good first start. Time for snakes. Okay, everybody, so I thought I'd show you some of our boas since we actually haven't shown you any of them. So here's an opportunity to see just a few of what we have. This is one of our female uh, red tail boas. Her name is Zoe. Uh, she's a hypo het sun glow, so she'll throw out some albinos. Um, she's probably got another couple of years before she's ready to go, but we like to grow them up slow here and get them ready. Uh, but let's go on with another one. This is one of our female emerald tree boas. Her name is Wicked. So we have a uh, Wizard of Oz theme going. One of the males that we have, his name is Oz. But uh, very beautiful snakes. Definitely more hands-off than with ball pythons or colubrids or red-tailed boas. Um, they do have a pretty wicked bite, so you definitely want to have more attention brought to them when you're working with them. But, uh, yeah, very nice snake, and, and we're, uh, uh, we're pretty excited around here at Bald of Genetics to, to be able to work with this species of snake. Here's another one of our, uh, boas, one of our albinos. Um... This little female is gonna be really nice to put into the, the breeding rotation once she gets older and, and has a little bit more size on. But uh, again, a very nice red tail bow. All right, everybody, so that's it for this episode. I hope everybody enjoyed the quick update on the turtle pond. The next video on the uh, turtle pond should have everything done, the rock work, uh, the waterfall. We should have water in the pond and circulating, filtration, all that good stuff. I don't know if we'll have Merlin in it yet. Uh, and the fish because I need to let the water cycle it depends on uh, when we get the video out But you will see him go in and the fish go in uh, So yeah, so I hope everybody enjoyed it uh, If I can ask you to uh, subscribe down below if you haven't already Turn on those post notification bells so every time we upload a video Which typically is on Fridays you'll be informed and of course if you can always share these videos It'll help our channel grow even more so until next time take care and we'll see you real soon